You know, I uh, always used to say to myself throughout the years, you know, watching a lot of my favorite YouTubers and doing what I used to do, I always used to say to myself, man, where are some of these people? And there are some people that have left that don't no longer do videos that I just, when they come back, I'm like, damn, they've been gone that long. But now I know why. Sports on the ATL, people. This is David here. I'm not going to go into that whole spiel that I do. I just want to come on here and say thank you to everybody. I have realized throughout the years, most importantly um, this year, that there is more to do than on YouTube. No, I'm not deleting my channel. But I just don't have the, how can I say it? I just don't have the passion that I used to. Uh, and really, I mean, to be real with you guys, it really started creeping under my head the last couple months when I started, you know, getting back to the gym and getting my body right and, you know, just focusing on a lot of things out here, my mom's health. You know, I've said this before, the passing of Eight Camel Toes Bobby really hit me hard. It put, it put a lot of things into perspective for me. Um, and everything. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, no, my channel is not going to be deleted. No, I didn't stream the game today. I think I streamed one Falcons game the last month or so. I just don't have the desire anymore, guys, to be streaming all these games and I don't have the desire to be doing a lot of, you know, bantering back and forth on sports videos and stuff. And just, I don't. I don't. Actually, my love now, and don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm always going to be a Braves fan. Always going to be a Falcons fan. Hawks fan. Suffering for what it is. Georgia fan. Uh, Calgary Flames. Calgary Stampeders. But I feel like, and I realize this, that me doing all these streams, all these games and all that... As fun as it was, it's just taken away from what I really need to focus on. I watch a lot of motivational videos. I watch a, sto a lot of videos on being stoic. I, I watch, and I'll tell you, I watch Ty X Worldwide. I watch Sean Zachary. Um, I watch Fix Fearless. There's a couple other guys that I watch. I'm watching this channel right now about being stoic, and you know what? been watching these for since early in the year and the reason I'm in the best spot in my life now mentally and physically is because I watch those I use those as motivations every day in the past I would wake up and watch drama videos I would watch sports banter videos and all this the way that you start your day is the way your day goes and I was doing that every day now I'm not going to sit here and knock everybody for what they do you know everybody's on here for their own reason you know and i've had a lot of friends and a lot of people who supported me all these years and i appreciate it but i said it the other day if you guys are here for what i used to do i'm sorry it's not going to be that way anymore i don't plan on streaming game streams unless i choose to um you know, me talking about my teams just gets to the point where it just gets redundant and boring. And I never thought that I would actually be bored of doing YouTube. But the focus that I have going on in my life right now is more important. I enjoy working out a lot now like I do. My body's in the best shape ever. My mind is, is mentally better than it's ever been. You know, I'm busy taking care of a house, you know, busy taking care of my mom when I need to, my brother when I need to, you know, paying my bills, just just living my life, just doing the good things, listening to positive videos, listening to music, you know, just stuff that I want to do. And, and I really feel that I set myself back spending so much time on YouTube. Again, this is not a deletion of my YouTube channel. Okay, and I will do videos when I feel like I need to do videos, rant and rage. Like today, I really could rant on the Falcons uh, blowing another opportunity and losing to a Bucks team they should have beat. But what's the point? It's, 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 it's the same thing. It's repetitive. Rinse and repeat. I, I don't have that fire in me to do it because the Falcons do not deserve me to do it. The Falcons themselves and the Hawks do not deserve me to come on here and rage and rant. 
What do I really get out of it when you think about it? I just get aggravated more. I entertain you guys, and that's great, but it's not worth it for me to come on here and just constantly do that all the time. That's another reason why I stopped. Um, I just... I'm not going to say... How can I... I'm trying to figure out how to say it, y'all. Because it's not to the point where I want to delete my channel. I just have more important things in my life that I want to focus on. And as I got older, it's quite obvious what they are. You know? Building my body. My body looks amazing. Okay? I'm not into the drama. I'm not into watching videos that are based on drama. I'm not on here to watch videos that are made to clown me. I've seen so many throughout the years. I, I don't care. I don't care to get comments on drama. I don't care to get Instagrammed or Twitter about drama. And my whole life is not sports. I love my sports. But as I get older, now I understand why sports, as opposed to the passion that it was for me in my teens, 20s, and 30s, and early 40s, is, is not there as it was. I mean, look around. You see my room. It's decked out in sports. I will always follow my sports teams. I will always support them. But as far as the Falcons and Hawks go, I will not be streaming another game unless I want to and I really don't care to. I will not watch another game. What's the point of sitting game after game after game watching the same stuff happen? If you've seen one of my videos, you've seen them all. I still will follow the Hawks and the Falcons and everything on Twitter and on ESPN. I didn't watch the game today. Absolutely not. I did a lot of other things. Went to the gym. Not working out. Today was my, my off day, so I just did stretches and cardio and stuff. But I cleaned my house, followed the game on Twitter, and I looked at myself and said, if the Falcons are blowing out the Bucks early, then I'll turn the TV on. But what's the point of me sitting through another game where Desmond Ritter looks terrible through three quarters, plays well in the fourth quarter, and then we either get lucky and hold on or we blow it. Uh, this is like the fourth or fifth game that we took the lead late in the fourth quarter and the defense couldn't hold. And I don't really fault the defense. The defense did everything they could, but Desmond Ritter, like he has all year, the first three quarters looked like shit. Just a terrible quarterback. Just terrible. And I and I don't know I don't know what the Falcons were thinking drafting this guy. He makes some good throws, but what's that say? Look too little, too late. And it's constant with him. It's not something that's every other game. It's constant. The Falcons' defense consistently cannot make stops late. We actually have a pretty damn good defense, but when you have problems scoring early in games, it puts them on their heels. However, Falcons scored in our last two possessions, touchdowns. We should have been able to make a stop, and we didn't do it. We lost to an inferior Bucks team at home. You know, congrats to the Bucks. whatever. You know, the Falcons, you know, it's not worth it. So that's why I'm not screaming and raging and everything. But uh, uh, I just refuse to watch my teams play now until they prove to me that they deserve me to watch them. Again, Twitter, ESPN, that's how I followed it today. And I saw how the game was going, and I'm like, I ain't turning on this mess. It's not worth it. And I saw how it was going to go before it actually ended. Uh, but... Uh, it's just like the Hawks, you know, Trey Young. What a letdown. What a letdown since the conference. This is this is a very underachieving ball club. You know, Trey Young got here. We were expected to do something. Just terrible. There's no continuity on the team. They can't play defense. Shante Murray was a superstar player with the Spurs, I believe, but he can't do nothing here, really. Just terrible. Just terrible. These, these two teams here are abominable to watch. They're like mirror images of each other. So, like I said, I'm going to do stuff when I want to do it. You know, I mean, how many times can I talk about the same thing every day? It's just, it's just not important to me. The drama is not important to me. Uh, the unimportant things that don't put a positive input into my life are unimportant to me. I don't care. Really, I don't care. Unless you can bring me something positive, we have nothing to talk about. If I have friends, and all they talk about is negativity and drama. We have nothing to talk about because we're not friends if that's all you talk about. I need people in my life who are going to either bring something positive to my life or if they're going to talk to me, talk to me about things that they're trying to do in their life. Talk to me about some goals that they have. 
talk to me about how good they're doing. Or, hey, David, I have a question for you. Instead of just constant sports drama, banter, insults, trash talk, laughing. And this goes with all of y'all. I do not care anymore. I don't. I appreciate everybody that has come on my channel. I appreciate everybody in my chat. I really do. But there comes a point where you have to say enough's enough. And now is enough. It's been, a, it's been enough for a couple weeks now. But after the day, enough's enough. You know, I don't have that same fire or passion. No, I'm not stepping away because I actually enjoy doing my fitness videos. I really do. So if anybody has any suggestions on fitness, please let me know. Any questions? If you have any questions, please let me know. I could definitely help you because, like I said, I'm definitely filling out. Definitely getting better. I remember when I used to have chin fat a little bit. Now there's none. There's literally, I remember when I used to go like this and I used to see some stuff hanging down. Not anymore. When I say I work my work out my ass off, I work out my ass off. And I look great and feel great because of it. And that's not going to change. So that that's like my new passion on YouTube is to do fitness videos. Again, I will do recaps of games and whenever something pops up into my head, I'll do it. But do me a favor, guys. Please do not ask me to stream any games. Do not ask me to stream any games. Somebody asked me, you're, always just, oh, you're letting the people down on your channel. No, I don't care. Some things have to end sooner or later. There's plenty of other Falcon video makers out there, you know, who make Falcon content. I'm very appreciative of you guys wanting to do what I do. I'm sorry, wanting to watch what I do, but I'm not going to consistently keep doing streams and games when I'm when I if I do, I'm going to be neglecting what I want to do off of YouTube. It's not worth it for me anymore. Hasn't been for a while. People used to say, damn, I used to always question people, why do you take sports so serious? Now I understand why. When you take sports massively serious, it takes away from what you need to accomplish in your real life. And really, it does. It does. So, like I said, I'll, I'll be doing random fitness videos. You know, I might do some music stream videos every now and then, or I might pop in and do a stream from time to time. But my channel is... My channel, it's not any of your channel. And it doesn't matter to me what anybody says negative. Obviously, I love the positive, but overall, it's about me. And I, I've earned the right to say this because I've been doing this since 2009. I've been entertaining you guys since 2009, whether you crack jokes on me or whether you love what I do or whether you agree with me or disagree or, or tired of me or troll me, whatever. You got to respect. I have done this since 2009 and at some point it wears out again I'm not deleting my YouTube channel because I enjoy doing content but times have changed I have changed it's funny when you think about it when negative things happen in your life that's the changes that happen you're in that you're stuck in that same mindset when positive things happen in your life that's the mindset you have. For many years on here, not a lot of good things were going on in my life. Therefore, it projected itself on YouTube. I hung around dumb stuff, drama, just stupid stuff, beast battles. I had nothing, I really, I didn't need to even interact on. That was my fault. I blame myself for allowing myself to get sucked up into it. For me to get sucked up as a grown man, entertaining a bunch of other grown-ups and kids who didn't want to succeed in their own life. So they relished off my pain. You're not relishing off my pain anymore. If you're going to relish anything, you're going to relish off my success. And I want to see all of y'all succeed. I would love to see more people who I'm subscribed to and follow me do videos and streams on positive things. If all of y'all watching me now can do things positive and stream and do videos, I would love to interact. But I have no desire to interact sports-wise, really. And I have no desire to really interact in anything else but positivity. Sports don't bring me positivity. They bring me stress and anguish. Drama and all that stuff don't bring me any positivity. It just brings me stress and anguish. So that's how it is. I still got the, I'm still finishing off the NFL Pick'em Tournament this year. I'll have this week's winner later in the week. Noah won it last week. I do got the paper and everything, and I will. Um, Dashy, I'm probably going. I'm Dashy, I'm probably not going to do the the postseason pick'em tournament. So I'll refund your ten dollars that you sent 
you're the only one that wanted to do it. I'm not going to do it for one person. I just don't feel like doing it. So this will be the last year of my Pick'em tournament. Um, and again, I know I'm talking a lot, but this is, like I said, since 2009, I've been doing this. And what I'm experiencing off of YouTube is a lot more important than on YouTube. And it's not to take anything for granted. I don't take what I was doing for you guys for granted. I don't you know, take anything that you guys were doing for me for granted. I really appreciate all of y'all. I do. I really do. And those who are still going to ride with me will ride with me. But don't get upset at me and comment if you don't see content a lot every week and you don't see streams. Just know that I'm living my best life. And I'm putting myself out there to be the best David that I could be. I'm taking advantage of the opportunities that I have. Okay, a lot of our fellow brothers and sisters who we watched with are no longer here. They don't get the opportunities to try to better them, better themselves. I want to better myself, and I'm doing it. Okay, so I appreciate everybody. I, I hopefully you guys understand. If you don't, I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, but uh, I hope whatever you guys are looking for in your life, hope you get it. But good things come, good things do end, folks. YouTube is not the main source of entertainment. But I appreciate everybody who's followed me since 2009. And uh, just look for what I do next. You might like it. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what to do. And I'll see you whenever I see you again, folks. Mm.